Hello everyone, uh, it's Reset back again. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make my ballpoint doll aesthetic uh, tights for my, well, I use them for a lot of things, but mostly for um, my idol sona. And then just for the aesthetic of ball joint, because it really, like, I like wearing it. And I've worn these tights out about three to four times now. Um, so I can tell you it does work. Um, just be aware you can't really, you're going to be really careful with washing them. So I don't recommend wearing them daily, unless you have multiple pair, like I'm about to show you how to make multiple pair. Uh, but it does work. It will be uh, a little inconvenient, but it works. That's what I like to say. And these will be custom fitted to you because you're doing them on your own legs. So what you will need is, depending on your skin tone, a pair of tights or if you want to do like white. I do white because um, usually my I'm more pale when I'm doing the, the uh, ball joint because usually you are pale when you're doing ball joint and stuff like that. So I usually are the white. Uh, this one's opaque though, so we'll sort of just lighten up the skin while still being, you know, um, white-ish. But I have done them with this, with the black. These are the ones I had before. I'm going to be trying them out with opaque today. As you can see, I'll put a picture of me wearing them. They do work, um, but I do recommend tights for this and not like thigh highs or something because chances are it will fail. If you're doing them in black, you need white paint. I don't exactly recommend this method because the amount of white you have compared to black is a lot more unless you want to do it like I did where it was very decrepit and even still I wouldn't like or if you want more of a gray color I still really wouldn't do it so that's just my two cents on it after doing it if you have a lot of white paint and that's all you have and you only have black tights then do that obviously but um I don't know these are like what it doesn't say I think I got for like three bucks over at the target though so, and I know they sell them in, like, multi-packs on, uh, Amazon, so if you want a few that you can practice on. And then also, you're gonna need some black paint if you're doing it in the white. Uh, preferably something that is skin-safe, because you will be putting this on your skin. Especially if you're doing opaque. Uh, you could put, uh, like, a barrier between where you're gonna be doing it, but because it's your whole leg, and you want it to fit pretty close, I don't always recommend it at least i don't do it usually but it's probably safer if you do it that way um but i personally don't you can put a cling wrap around your leg first so if you want to add cling wrap do cling wrap and then let's also just bring out our brushes so if you're going to do the black ones you're gonna need a brush like this one has more it's a little wet right now because i'm drying them out but um it's more thicker. If you're going with the white and then the black paint, you want a thinner one because you're going to be doing more um, thinner brush strokes. You can still use that one for like the, but when you're outlining, you need a thinner one. Now, thing is, a fun part about this is that you don't have to do much, especially if you're using white. It's mostly going to be you're focusing on your knees for this. Uh, the ankles are sometimes, depending on, I'm not going to show my foot, obviously, but the ankles are sometimes important if you are doing, uh, if you're not wearing socks or anything above it. I personally, because I wear it with my OG stuff usually, I'll have high socks. So, yeah, or I'll be wearing boots, so it will cover up my heel anyways. But if you're wearing something like Mary Jane's or low-cut shoes like that, like tennis shoes too, you will need to take into consideration your ankles and how those rotate but you will need a reference image of like the idea of what you want it to look like uh and that should be about it so let me put the tights on and i'll show you what's up once you have your tights on make sure that you have them rolled up past your knees so you have plenty of room to work because you need to work on your mostly your knees then on your sides as well as usually that's what mine are going to be using a lot so that's what i'll be showing you guys I also recommend you're gonna use some clear nail polish where you're mostly putting your lines. So you will be outlining and clear nail polish first so that it sticks and then going over and paint. If you have an acrylic, this is not necessarily necessary, but it's a better precaution just in case. Just like when you have tights in general. And also for my thick, thigh-ass piece, I promise these actually do fit. So, yeah. 
for being opaque, these are actually a lot, like, more white than I thought they were going to be, but that's totally fine. You're going to work with it. Here's why I also say you don't want to work with the black first, because if you're doing black first, you will have to have basically sit with all these, like, really rolled up, because you need to be able to get everywhere across your, and your legs, and it's really annoying. So, let me show you now. But I like to first state that every, not every ball joint doll is the same, so do not expect them to be the same, you know, obviously. Um, some people are going to say that I'm not using a good mic, and that is just going to be the case. I do not care enough. Anyways, this is completely thick. So I'm going to be using this clear nail polish. Personally, my um, reference is going to be really encapsulating the circles. This circle like structure. So, if my leg was out, it'd be going like this, making the circle around the knee and then coming in around the back. So, that's the shape I'm gonna be making with the black, and then also gonna be making cuts around along the legs here, around the sides, just where I think they're necessary. It's most likely, it's mostly just incorporated here, but I want some cracks in it. I really wanted to like give off the idea. I'll put some reference images I took off of, well actually I'm not going to because I took them off of Pinterest. So what you're going to first do, take your clear nail polish and you are just going to, oh, it's a good thing these are going to get covered with black because my clear nail polish is actually not that clear guys. You can see exactly where I started here. That's actually not good. Please start with an actual clear nail polish. I guess it's also because I'm working with the sheer fabric. So much sheer fabric. I don't even count this as sheer. So that's where my black line's gonna go. You just wanna kinda shape that out. Now if you're like me and honestly kinda lazy and don't wanna do this, power to you. You don't have to, I don't think. Personally, I don't think I did it for most of the sections I did have stuff on last time, so don't feel like it's the end of the world. It's mostly just so that when you stretch it, it doesn't lose its shape. But since you're using paint anyways, it doesn't really freaking matter. Also just it way higher than it needs to be, so. Feel free to make mistakes. It's not meant to be, I mean, it kind of is meant to be perfect, but it's art. And honestly, what I say is, you can make mistakes in art because we can't. No art is ever really perfect, my guy.